How's it everybody? Back in the 80s, there was a family known as the Wainsdales. They had two kids, several pets, and though not known to be a rich family, Mr. Wainsdale owned ranches near Driftwood and had a stable income. Born and raised in Nomersburg, Mr. Wainsdale always wanted to see the region grow and invested a lot of time in thinking about what could attract people to the area. Through this, together with his love of animals, a zoo was born. He started with a few animal enclosures and before long grew into several enclosures. Earnings from the zoo increased and with Mr. Wensdale loving his zoo, used these funds to further expand it. As the zoo became more profitable, Mr. Wensdale soon started venturing into other business spaces and before long had purchased a large mansion near Yitlaw's distribution center. Not too long after that, the Wensdales bought more property outside Nobersburg, which would ultimately see them moving to. To this day, the zoo continues to bear its founder's name of the Wensdale Zoo, which remains to remind everyone of its humble origins. Rumor has it, Mr. Wensdale hasn't checked in on the zoo in years. Now run by few employees, it is clear the passion and drive that once went into this zoo is a distant memory. I would like to say a big thanks to Jamale Tai for the name and the backstory. With that, let's get into today's episode. How's it? How's it, everybody? Welcome back to the Nomersburg region. Sanctum Gamer here. And today, brand new episode, and we are going to start working on what is going to become the downtown of this town that we are building. We started off by detailing out this roundabouts. These two roundabouts that I built way back, I don't know, episode... I don't even know anymore. I've been deferring getting them all detailed up until now. And when I get to it, I really had no idea what to do with it. So I just slapped some old bush down there, which I still think fits in with the theme of the town. So it wasn't a complete train smash. I think it fits in not too, not too bad. And if you saw from the thumbnail of this video, today we'll be building an old church with a graveyard and I wanted it to sit smack bang in the middle of this town. So the idea is that this town somehow, as it was growing or when initial settlers arrived, you know, they built this church in the middle of this town. And then the town basically grew from that point on. So I very specifically wanted this church to sit right in the center of the town and then have everything revolve around this church and why it is there. Now, in this little spot, I just wanted to put a little commercial area, nothing to wow, but just a spot where, I guess, this church may perhaps has become some kind of a tourist attraction and there's just a small area here that people can grab a bite to eat or something like that. I have no idea. But the main focus of this whole area was the church. I didn't want to expand the graveyard around the church all the way into the spot. I wanted it to look at least a little bit different. I wanted something not churchy and graveyardy around here. And then over here, we will get cracking on the church itself with a little road that takes you to where the, the main church building will be. A little parking lot off to the side and then the graveyards will basically surround the entire the entire building so i got this asset which 
I, I can't for the life of me recall what its name is. But anyway, I thought it was just a very, very nice old looking asset. It's also colorizable, if that's a word. So you could, you can change the color a little bit to suit your needs. So off camera, I made it a slightly more darker toned color to give that impression that it is a little bit more run down than it looks currently. And then off around it to that top right area, I'm putting what in my mind are the graveyards of where I suppose important people would have been buried. So those graveyards are in a little bit more maintained for whatever reason. They are clean, they, they are sparkly and shiny. And that little spot is for those uh, if, if they're the high priests or the church or whatever the the case might have been there and then around the rest of the church we'll put other graveyards for uh, i suppose lesser people of the church and then to the side here i wanted to put a little space that would have all these vehicles that would serve as some kind of a i guess like a corona vehicle corona's vehicle because with this massive graveyard here, you will assume that at some point, some kind of a, a a funeral services or burial services was offered. And so you've got those vehicles there that will go out and collect the bodies and bring them here. And then also at the, also at the back there, I put these mausoleums. And these are for, I don't know, tombs that would house a bunch of of high value people or whatever the case may be that somebody important in the town might have passed away and this person will have a mausoleum there created for them that they would be buried in and then from this point on we'll start putting the average joe graveyards <laughs> it sounds so wrong saying that but anyway putting the other graveyards which are not these mausoleums or these well-maintained graveyards so every other person basically would be buried in that area and keeping to the theme of this area is a lot of the area yeah, a lot of the graveyards even though they it's not well maintained you have places where i've got a lot of grass growth just to show that it is aged but then at the same time there are spots where like where i was putting the parts now between the graveyards to show that people actually so frequent this place and so grass in that area is a little bit more dead but where the actual graveyards are it's a bit more more overgrown and then to this area i just put this building which is essentially a crematorium it's not really connected to the rest of the actual region i haven't connected up the roads it's just there for decoration but i think it, it when you follow the path of the roads it looks like it is connected nicely and it completes the look of the entire area so with that said i'll be opening up the name suggestions channel on the discord server for anybody who might have a nice interesting story for this church and the graveyard the history behind it if you want to give it a nice name, by all means, let's do that. So let's hop onto the Discord server. Link is in the description. Drop your stories. I definitely want to hear those. And again, the best ones will be will become the name and that person will be credited. I must say that the idea for this church and graveyard build came from someone known as snowman on the discord server so they made the suggestion quite a while back so thank you so much for that as soon as i saw that suggestion i knew that this town would basically have it sitting as the centerpiece of it so if you've also got ideas that you would like to see things you would like to to see me build then again jump on that discord server we've got a dedicated channel where you can make your suggestions. I go through it from time to time before each episode. All right, so continuing on from the church, now we're going to start breaking out into the rest of the towns. And this is... I don't know. This is, is actually going to form part of the downtown. So we're going to have a couple of shops in this spot. And 
in a later episode we're gonna start having facilities amenities and all those stuff within this immediate area so this area will be a little bit more uh, bustling it's going to be the busy downtown of this entire area so these shops that i'm putting down now are working as kind of the outskirts of the downtown as it were and then around here again same thing i wanted to put a slightly bigger bigger store bigger box stores around here oh not box stores but just slightly bigger buildings here that were look like they were connected and they are a single unit or something like that but they've got multiple stores in it but i really just wanted this area to have a whole bunch of buildings clunked together and have multiple shops on either on all the different sides of this entire complex and then as i've mentioned before i want to incorporate biking biking network into this town now i know some people are concerned were, were concerned when i first put those biking lanes down by way back in episode 31 about it going nowhere so because of the way i'm building the town it's piece by piece by piece so i am putting in bike lanes going in a direction that i think i'm going to need them so it might look like some of them are going nowhere but in the end i promise when everything is done all of these lanes will be hooked up to a very large extent so this bike lane basically is connecting the downtown out into the industrial areas and it will eventually make its way under the actual train tracks to the other side where the zoo is which we built away a little bit back so i'm doing my best to put the bike lanes where i think they are going to be needed but as the town expands if i find that these bike lanes are actually not ideally placed we'll probably just have a a fixer upper episode and readjust everything but so far as i place all of these down i notice that people start to use them so as it stands at least i think they are they are in the right places and this area is the border of this rail yard from the rest of the town so i want a a sort of line of trees that is going to be very very visible from an aerial point of view to show that separation and that's something that i had wanted to carry i did in the last episode with where we had the commercial strip and i wanted to carry it also into this episode as well now here i put this locomotive museum down now, so again this is something that somebody suggested in in the video where we built the turntable which you see to the top the top of the screen there they suggested that we have a locomotive museum somewhere in the town now that makes sense and the suggestion was that it must have like steam steam engines and stuff like that so i got a bunch of assets that will actually work perfectly for what was suggested but i did at this point i had already earmarked that i was going to have this locomotive museum here so this is it's part of the vanilla game if i'm not mistaken i will, i really wanted to have this piece here and then i'm going to build this I'm, I'm planning on building a much bigger locomotive museum which will be on the other side of the rail yard towards the top right as you're looking at it now so this is kind of a a feel or a taste of building something like this but i definitely plan on building a much bigger one as suggested by what is their name uh brock brock wearing i think was the name if i recall right so i'm definitely gonna take that idea and i'm definitely going to implement it uh, at some point i'm not sure when but at some point we'll definitely implement it and this is where the bike lane basically terminates by this tunnel for now what i will do and i'm thinking we'll probably do this sort of stuff in a live stream because i think this is the kind of thing that it'll be nice to hear from people who live in towns that have biking networks you know just i make tweaks to the biking network so that it it fits in nicely 
and then around here we will con we continue basically with the industry so we will we'll be blending out into the massive industrial zone that's going to be set into the far left of the screen and this is basically that blending zone from where the locomotive museum is where the rail yard is where the downtown is and then blending out into what will be massive industry at some point so on that i just want to remind everybody those who are wondering where why i'm not live streaming anymore i haven't live streamed in quite a while that is true so you haven't been missing any live streams or anything like that but i am moving my live streams off of youtube onto twitch so this is just a reminder so if you want to follow the live streams get onto twitch link is uh, link is in the description i also have it on the screen get onto twitch follow me there and i'm expecting and planning to start live streaming again from next week onwards so you could say feb was my month off from live streaming whilst i basically make that switch from youtube onto twitch so if you if you're keen on the live streams follow me there on twitch and we will we'll get back into the live streams very very soon just note that on twitch i do play other games but i'm going to keep to the schedule that i was doing on youtube which is every saturday night well saturday night my time will be live streaming for city skylines and then on other days of the week i will be streaming other games so if you're interested by all means join me for a nice chat but otherwise city skylines will remain every friday night so that it doesn't create any confusion okay and so this is the industrial area now starting to take shape a bit more as you can see blending from the last scene to this one the density of buildings has picked up the concreteness has picked up and this now will continue into our massive industrial zone that we will be having in the near future and all of this area as you can see continuing that rundown look which i'm actually thoroughly thoroughly loving so that will do it for this episode i think we made good progress next week we're gonna shift down to looking at the screen downwards and we're gonna introduce a a lot of the transportation hubs well not hubs but the depots and stuff that we need to try and start getting public transport in sooner rather than later so that as we start building out the town we'll just start incorporating the tram networks we'll incorporate the bus networks and all of that so we have all those depots in place and then we get ready to start expanding and getting public transport in right from the get-go thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed it kindly kindly give the video a thumbs up leave your comments let me know what you thought of the episode what you enjoyed what you would like to see in the future and i certainly look forward to building more thank you all keep safe and cheers everybody Bye.